So there's the port that I just came from the, at the end of the beach in Kalamata. And just a block or two up is what looks to be kind of the downtown area, the business district, you would say. And I'm looking for the AB supermarket, which somebody told me is right up here someplace. So let's just take a quick look at the little downtown of Kalamata. So it's not all just beach town. Oh, there's AB right on the corner. You can't miss it. So yeah, so this is not just a small beach town, it's also a regular city all year round where people live. Uh, I have to look up the population of this place, but I would guess it's more than 25,000, I don't know, more. Uh, uh, Kalamata actually has its own airport too, so it's probably bigger than I thought it was. And so has direct flights from a lot of European cities on low-cost carriers, I think. And uh, so it, it does attract a more international crowd for sure. But again, it's, it's a lot of local Greeks coming here, I would say. Although I see Russians, Italians, Ukrainians, Polish. So... look at part of the downtown area let's go see what the supermarket looks like and check out what they have and check out the prices looks pretty big Looks like a, I don't know, some mall that's seen better days or something like that. Uh, seems like it was built up not too long ago, but probably fell into a lot of vacancies or whatever, except for the AB supermarket, which looks brand spanking new and really clean and nice. So how do I get in here? Here? And the air conditioning is really good in here. So, let's have a look. Fruit looks really good. Ban bananas, they got tomatoes, dollar fifty-nine a kilo. Check out these huge noodles. Two thirteen. I'd like to try those. Maybe I should buy some wine. And shrimp. 11.82 a kilo. Is that good? I have no idea. Salmon 15.45 a kilo. I don't know where they get that. There's a lot of squid. 18 euros for a kilo. This AB supermarket is a big chain in Greece. I see a lot of them all over the place. B 
beer. 774 for a 12 pack. It's pretty good for a 12 pack, I would say. A lot of cheeses. Eggs, $1.89 for six, pretty expensive. Here, 306 for 12. It's a little a little on the high side, but I got to say the eggs over here are really good. They're really dark orange, not pale and white or yellowish looking. This cheese, feta cheese, about 10 euros for one kilogram of feta cheese. Can't go wrong. See what else they got. Amstel 422 for a six pack. Pretty good. What is that? 65 cent, 70 cents for a can of Amstel. Coffee. Let's see what they got here. Jacobs 425. For what's this 250 grams so 425 for half a pound that's a lot that's you know 850 close to nine dollars for a pound so even these are still pretty expensive surprising T Lipton 211 not bad why is the coffee so expensive? Skippy peanut butter. Oh, I haven't seen that in anywhere in Greece. 540 euros for this tiny little peanut butter. That's crazy. But I've seen more expensive in other places. So here this peanut butter is 3 euros. Not bad. Pasta, whole wheat pasta, 500 grams or more than a pound for a dollar eight. That's a great price for whole wheat pasta, so that's pretty good. Breads, you got packaged breads, dollar 48, not bad. Let's see what some liquor costs. Absolute vodka. 17.34 for 0.7 liters. I don't know if that's good or bad. Stolichnaya. 17 euros for 0.7 liters. Olive oil. Let's see. Where is some Kalamata olive oil? So one of these is 20 euros, four liters. Kalamata olive oil, 25 euros for four liters. If I was living here, I would definitely pick one of those up. The thing will last you probably close to a year. Let's see how much wine costs. For white wine. There's all kinds of prices here. I'm just trying to find some of the most cheapest just so you have an idea of the range.
so wine isn't isn't that cheap over here I mean I see some brands from Spain and Chile were pretty cheap three four or five dollars uh, but generally they seem to be more like six seven or so uh, broccoli 900 grams 352 okay in Barcelona I got 1,000 grams one kilogram if you watch my Barcelona supermarket video of frozen broccoli that was one kilogram for I think it was like a one and a half euros or something less than two euros and here it's 350 for a little less than a kilogram so that's definitely more expensive uh, water 30 cents but uh, the good thing about Greece is you don't really need to buy water because the drinking water from the fountain is so delicious and so good that um, there's no reason to buy bottled water it's if you ever taste water from the tap you'll see why all the Greeks just have a glass bottle they fill it with the tap water and leave it in their fridge for nice clean crisp Greek water whenever they want so no need to buy bottled water unless you're traveling or something Doritos dollar nine for this little tiny bag that's a lot Kit Kat ice cream 644 also seems kind of expensive although one of these big tubs of ice cream is 868 liters. so as with anything if you're buying brand name imported stuff it's gonna cost a lot more if you buy the local stuff there's some pretty good values here Uh, so this is a, a good supermarket here a special K 227. I don't even know what this stuff costs because I don't need it, but Cornflakes dollar 85. It's not a very big box though Kit Kat, 58 cents pretty good So I see that chocolate is pretty much the price I see all over the world. You have the local stuff that's 75 cents a dollar, then you got some imported premium stuff that's maybe $2, 250 something like that. Barilla pasta sauce, 235 here in in let's see in st petersburg i saw the same one for like four dollars for the same kind of small container so you're always going to pay up for barilla heinz ketchup three dollars for 500 milliliters pretty expensive Fresh feta cheese. Eight bucks a kilo. So this is a look at the AB supermarket in Kalamata, Greece. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up leave a comment and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching